I'm thrilled to be visiting with Chef Violet Un, the matriarch of Singaporean cuisine. She's already shared her recipe for chicken tempura, but I'm eager to try more. Violet, you're a woman after my own heart. We're making dessert. Yes, yeah, something called apom bokwa. Apom? Apom is sort of a pancake. Okay. And it's a sort of a Singapore muffin. Oh, let's get right into it. Yeah, okay. But well, we start with flowers. Flowers? Yes, blue flowers called blue pea. These are dried. What's the function? Is this going to add flavor to our it's muffins? It's add color. It's very traditional <gasps> and... Look at that color. Yes, indigo, right? So how do we make this apom batter? Well, I have yeast, one teaspoon and one teaspoon of sugar. I mix it together and then make sure the yeast is dissolved. Okay, so yeah. this is fermented then? Yeah. And then that gets added to the rice? Yes, it's like baking bread, right? Except with rice yeah. as the base. And then the rice has been stirred and you leave it to ferment uh, like 12 hours and it becomes this and with a slightly sour smell. It smells like bread dough? Yeah, it just smells like bread Amazing. dough. Amazing. And then I will blend in a blender with about one and a quarter cups of uh, coconut milk and one and a quarter cups of water. To make it nice and smooth. Smooth. And then I add rice flour and self-raising flour, 200 grams each. And that's the batter. And that's the batter. After an hour, the batter there, this is what looks like fluffy and light. Exactly. And it's so airy. Yeah. So is it time to cook it now? Yes, but I will make the sauce first. I'm going to start off with a pan. And then I have this palm sugar and I have about 100 grams, mm -hmm. and then I have 200 grams of uh, coconut cream. And then I'm going to flavour it with pandan leaf. Break it open so that it releases the aromas. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, and tie it into a knot. And that makes it easy to pull out. Yeah. I'll add the bananas, about two of them. Yeah, sliced. And I'll go to put on low heat so that the, but the banana has stopped infused the flavour inside. Now it's time to make the apom, the pancake. All right. This looks like a little pancake pan. Yeah, it's, and it's called an achuan. It's brass. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, it's naturally non-stick. And then I'm going to make a pastry brush with a pandan leaf. Oh, I like this. And you're sort of adding flavour at the same time when you yes, brush. Yes, yes. A bit of oil. Okay. Not too much. And then let's put some batter. Okay. And you fill it up about halfway because it's going to bubble up, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and now I have my satay stick. I can pass that to you. Ah, this is when the blue comes in. Some people put the blue into the some of the batter and mm -hmm. then they mix it in. So it's just a streaking it. Okay, let's cover it. It's like an oven. And how long do these take to cook? Till it's like cooked through maybe a few minutes. Oh, look at that. Yes, isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. And then you can see that it's dry on the surface, so that's yeah. how you tell it's yeah, done? Yeah, it's cooked, yes. Okay. I love the texture. It's very fluffy, right? It's up to you whether you want that browning or not. Then we're just going to pour the sauce in without the pandan leaf. So this is the dish. Beautiful. And how do you eat these? You would sort of put the sauce and dip it in. It's not like a flour bread, right? No, not anything. And there is a sourness to yes. it, but it's beautiful against the sweetness yeah, of the yeah, coconut yeah. and the richness.